Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am so excited. I'm going to be talking about the Natasha Denona Love Palette and the Natasha Denona Love Glow Cheek Palette. So if you are interested in seeing how I got this look and my thoughts and experiences with these two products, then just keep watching. know that when these products came out I had to pick them up you guys were tagging me you were asking me if I was purchasing them um of course I was I purchased these from Beautylish I just find that they have really fast shipping for me and really great customer service so that is why I chose to purchase these off of Beautylish so Natasha came out with kind of a Valentine's Day collection so of course it included an eyeshadow palette her love glow cheek palette and also there are three lip glosses two kind of more nudie lip glosses and then and a really pretty duochrome coral gloss. I did not pick up any of the glosses just because I was already spending so much money and the glosses were the least exciting part for me. However, you are able to purchase a whole bundle called the Love Story Collection on Beautylish for $198 if you are interested in that whole collection or you can purchase these two in a bundle for $120 or of course individually. So we're gonna start off by covering the eyeshadow palette first and foremost and then I'll put a timestamp for when we cover the cheek palette or of course you can stay around for the whole video if you are interested in both of these products. Let's talk about the Love Palette. So this guy is $65. It is the same packaging and size as the previously released Sunrise Palette. And of course, this is more Valentine's themed. So you have 15 kind of more pinky romantic Valentine's Day themed eyeshadows. So the packaging of this is it is a hard palette, just like that Sunrise Palette, except it's a really pretty pink which I love pinks so as you can see so I'm very excited about that and then the back it has these holes which means you can stick a needle or something through to pop the eyeshadow palettes out if you're somebody who likes to rearrange shadows or put them in a Z palette I'm not like that I just I pay a lot of money so I like to have the actual palette it came in and then you get a nice big mirror feels very sturdy very great packaging so again like I said you get 15 eyeshadows on the inside and so this palette is limited edition what limited edition means nobody knows nobody specifies they just see how well this sells and decide what they want to do with it most likely so this says fall over heels for this limited edition collection of pink mauve and purple eyeshadows this palette will be available I believe February 6 in stores but you can currently purchase it at select retailers online Beautylish is also great because you can do flexible payments so you can get it for two payments of $32.50 which is a lot more palatable than $65 so I always recommend Beautylish. Mm -hmm. So this palette features 15 brand new shades of Nastasha's signature eyeshadow formula in romantic pinks, mauves, purples, corals, and burgundies. So in here, my interpretation of the formulas is that there are seven powder mattes. You get two cream to powder formulas, which I believe she reformulated. These should be two of her more new formulas, which I'm not too crazy about this formula, but you'll see that in my demo. You have four shimmer shades and two duochrome glitter type of shades. Now the duochrome glitter formula in this palette is super good. In the past, she's created these duochrome glitter topper kind of formulas where they get hard pan. There's just not much to it. I really do like the two that she has put into this palette. They are pigmented. They are not quite as pigmented on the eyelid as they look when you swatch them because they can get a little bit chunky, especially this lighter shade here. My recommendation would be to put it over either a glitter glue or to have a base color underneath, but I think they really are gorgeous. They don't feel like they're going to get hard pan and they're super stunning so I actually do quite like the duochrome colors in this palette and overall swatching wise everything swatched really stunning everything felt very smooth the only color that I noticed any kind of problems with is heart right here which is the red shade I don't know if it's gonna yeah so as you can see it's just a little bit more sheer that was a terrible swatch though it actually does swatch better than that it's just a little bit more sheer than I would normally hope for. But other than that, that was the only problems that I had swatching wise. And then another color I want to point out before I get into the demo is this color blind right here. It's super duper insane. It's one of those really wet, creamy formulas 
that swatches all the way down your arm. So definitely look forward to trying out this shade when you get it. It's amazing. Overall, first impressions as far as opening up the palette, swatching it, wearing it around a little bit. Very good. It seems like a very consistent palette for her. I'm going to get into the demo so you can kind of see these colors in action. So for the tutorial portion, I did want to show you a lot of the different shadows. So there is kind of a lot of like eyeshadow vomit where I just kind of layer a bunch of colors. So just be prepared for that. But this is a look that we are working with. So the first shade I'm taking is first right here. This we're going to use to set underneath the brow. It's kind of a light peachy pink shade, so it does lay down some color as you can see. We're gonna start a gradient. So we're gonna start off with Valentine right here, and this is going to be our transition color. So that's going to be blended everywhere. As you can see, it's a very nice light pink. It shows up a little bit deeper on my skin tone than it looks in the pan. We're gonna take some of Intense. And here begins the deepening aspect. So I'm gonna start it off in the outer corner and then blend whatever is left in towards my inner corner. I'm gonna take some of Soul right here. This color is a little bit brighter than it looks in the pan, but still continues the gradient effect. I wanted to play with Heart because it did not swatch the best, so I wanted to see application. So I'm just kind of running this along my lid. It's not the most pigmented shade in the world, and I feel like you're going to get the best from it used sparingly, not necessarily to get this bright red kind of look. To start adding the purple element, we're going to take Trust right here. This is not my favorite plum shadow. I feel like I've had others that have just been a little bit better pigmented wise, blendability wise. It still is very nice. And if you use a very light, soft hand, you can pack and blend. So it most definitely is a completely workable shadow. I just wanted to note that it's not the best plum I've ever worked with, but it most definitely gets the job done and it's not bad. So I'm really working on kind of expanding and extending my eye with that and then slowly building in the plum aspect into this look and then also whatever is left over on this brush I'm gonna run it down here just a little bit to create a purple underlay to the color we're gonna put on top next we're gonna take commitment right here so commitment is her cream to powder formula I really don't like this shade personally I find it to be a bit chunky and difficult to blend on my eye so that's why I'm using a light hand to just kind of rest it on my eye and then work it but I find this color to be difficult to work with I'm not the biggest fan of this formula. I'm gonna use the purple brush to blend it out and I get a lot of fallout from that color as well and black fallout is very dangerous. Next I'm taking Dream which is the purple cream to powder formula. So same formula as Commitment but I think this is a little bit better just because it's not as dark so I don't really need to blend it out as much as I would a dark shade but as you can see packing it on with my finger it's not extremely extremely pigmented. I think it's a really nice, soft, pretty purple, but I just think it's swatched more pigmented than it applies to the lid. But it does add that really pretty matte element to this look. As you know though, we don't just do matte, so I'm taking Puppy Love. The shade is actually called Pure Love. <laughs> Literally don't know where Puppy Love came from, but that would be a cute name now. Right here, which is one of the duochrome glittery shades, and this is so stunning. It really looks even more glittery when you put it onto the lid. I think that this would really stand out more if you use it wet or on top of a glitter glue, but that's just kind of what that looks like everywhere. I think it looks really good on top of that purple. There's a second kind of duochrome lid color right here. This is giving. And I'm putting that right on top. So this kind of brightens everything. And this is what I mean by I like put shadow just everywhere. But that's what these lid toppers are for. Absolutely stunning. I'm using Blind right here. Blind might be the best color in this palette because it swatches so stunning. It is so blinding all over the lid and it's also a really great inner corner color. And then finally, the last shade I'm taking is Heartbeat. So I'm taking it on this really precise refer brush and I'm just running this along my lower lash line to add some warmth to the look. And that's why I layered down that purple before so that it would peek through this red. All right, so I'm gonna do liner and lashes and I'll be back. So with lashes and everything, here of course is the final look. Now, 
Overall, what I would say about this palette is I'm very impressed. Natasha does seem to be getting more and more consistent with her releases. There was a time where there was a little bit of inconsistency within the palettes, but I'm very, very happy with this palette. The only formula I'm not too in love with are the cream to powder formulas. She keeps trying to do it and she keeps reformulating it and I still really don't like them, especially with this black shade. It's just pointless for me to have a really dark shade that you're going to have to blend when the formula doesn't blend the greatest. In the more neutral tones of the cream to powder formula, it is better, but with shades that you really need to manipulate and blend and layer, personally, I just don't like it for that. And Dream, you saw an application. It was just a weak shadow. It swatched beautifully, but I just think putting it all over the lid was weak. There were some comparisons between this palette and the Lila palette, uh, which is her other kind of purple pink palette but as you can see I just they're very very different I think that the love palette is much more bright whereas the Lila palette is much more muted it's much more taupey gray more cool toned you're getting more warmth from this palette you're getting more taupey grayness from this palette and there really are not any similar shades within the two palettes. So if you were curious about that, they are not the same. But overall, I am very impressed with these shadows. The shimmers in here are incredible as expected, normally from Natasha Denona. No weird hard pan is showing up in this palette yet. And I think she did a really good job with this palette. I'm very impressed. I think it's a beautiful gift for Valentine's Day if you're looking for a gift for somebody. So I'm really enjoying this palette. I'm very impressed with it and I am looking forward to continue playing with it. So let's move on over over to the Cheek Love Glow palette here. I have to admit, I was a little bit more excited for this than I was the eyeshadow palette just because I love these cheek products that she comes out with. And the packaging of this already, you can tell, is spectacular. So around this time last year, the Bloom palette came out and this was the first of its kind. And then later on in the year, she came out with the Tan Bronze and Glow. So I was so excited to see this third one. So this is $55, the packaging on this guy is incredible. So the whole basis of this palette is being able to customize your glow. So customize perfect flush glow with this palette. It's limited edition. It features blush and highlighter in cream and powder finishes to mix match and layer. In my demo, I will show you kind of how I chose to use this palette and experiment. Essentially, you're supposed to be able to layer and mix and match however you want to use it. So let's take a step back and talk about the packaging. So it's the same size as the original two, except this this one has this amazing glitter running through it and I am so here for it. This is the best packaging ever. And then you open it up and you reveal a big mirror and the four shades. The best part, you have this guy to cover the cream products, though there actually is only one cream product in here. So you're getting a glow cream base, which is a rosy red with a metallic finish, a super glow, which is a peachy pink with gold reflex and a duochrome finish, a diamond powder, which is a hot pink with rose gold reflex and a duochrome finish, and then a glow impact powder, which is a cool champagne with a metallic finish. That's the major details about this palette. So I'm just going to go straight into the demo because that is where we're going to get into the nitty gritty of this product. Okay, so I definitely decided I wanted to do the love glow cheek palette in a live demo since there's a lot of different things to play with, a lot of different things to experiment with. As far as how this compares to the Bloom palette, we have some different formulas, some different textures in here. You know how Natasha loves playing with new formulas. So prior to filming this video, I watched the video that I made on the Bloom palette just to see how I preferred application-wise, things like that. And the only formula that is the same between the two is the Glow Cream Base. Base. And the Glow Cream Base in the Bloom palette is much more sheer and light. And I use it as a base for my highlighter. So that's the Glow Cream Base in the Bloom. And here is the one in the Love, which feels a little bit stickier, but I don't know if that has to do with just the fact that Glow Cream Base in the Bloom palette is a year old at this point, so it might have dried out a little bit. But as you can see, the Glow Cream Base in the Love palette is deeper so I can't really use that as a highlighting base on my skin tone. Other than that, all of the formulas in here, this is the Bloom palette, are different than the formulas in the Love palette. The Tan palette, which 
I do have the bronzer on my face right now, but that's it. These are much more close as far as what they contain. The only difference is the blush and bronzer powder is in here, and in here you have a diamond powder instead. But both have the glow cream base, the super glow, and the glow impact powder. I love how the cream products have this to protect it. That's a really great touch that Natasha's done with these palettes. So formulation-wise, the tan is actually closer to this palette. And we're going to start off with the only cream product in this one, which is the Super Glow Cream Base. So I'm actually just going to use the end of my beauty blender, and I have no powder products on my face, by the way, with the exception of my bronzer, and I did set my under eyes, but I have the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk underneath, and using a sponge, oh my goodness, that's beautiful. So on me, this definitely is a cream blush and I could leave the house with just this. So this is the only cream formula in here. So you definitely want to use this first. Is that not stunning? Do I need to get closer for you to see? That's stunning. Great for every day. It doesn't feel too sticky on my face. Very interesting. One thing that I was disappointed by is that this didn't have the cream blush formula that the Bloom and Glow had because I loved this formula. We, you can actually use the cream glow base as a cream blush if you are fair like myself, but I still would have liked the actual cream blush because it's a creamed powder formula. Here's where it's going to get a little bit confusing as to how I want to use the diamond glow powder. This is a very hard pressed formula. You're not getting too much fallout, but as you can see, super glittery like this is something i would love on my eyelids not too sure about my cheeks and then we have the super glow which again like do you really want this much glow on your cheeks obviously today i do so i think i'm going to put this on as my blush on top of the cream blush and then we'll kind of bridge this between the blush and the highlighter so my cheeks are going to be very glowy today and of course this palette is made for layering but you don't have to layer everything but for the sake of this video i'm gonna take my refer number four cheek brush i'm gonna lightly pat this on top now of course my cheeks are going to be way more intense than right now then I would actually wear them out in public. Okay, so for a white washing, that just looks super healthy. Okay, so on this cheek, I actually did go a little bit harder with that super glow product. So here, I really lightly tapped and then tapped off. And then for this cheek, I just kind of dipped in and put it right on. So my cheek has a lot more glow to it, but the color is actually quite pretty. I think if you have a lot of texture or pores, you definitely want to tap it off because I can see my pores. I can see a little bit of that gold glitter. I don't think it's unflattering by any means, but if your cheek is your problem area, definitely go light-handed. This whole palette's just going to give you a really super glowy, shiny cheek. On deep skin tones, this is a beautiful, like, highlighter kind of color. So let's move on to this diamond powder. This is the one item that I'm just not sure about. I think if I use this bling brush, like, angled brush, this, the particles and glitter would get everywhere, but we're going to just try it. So this is from Blinged Brushes. This is their F4. So instantly, there's just, like, glitter on my face which I expected, but... So this is the Bling Brushes F17. I've been using this for more precise highlighter application, so we're gonna dip it into here to see if we can kind of... I mean, it's... It's her diamond formula, which is in the original Big Face palette, and it creates, like, this really pretty glittery highlight on the face. It's not depositing too much of the pinkness. So if I look straight, you really can't see too much of a cast. I think if you have like a medium or deep skin tone, you're really going to appreciate this and it'll look better on you than it does me. But I'm just not loving this kind of formula for my face. Like this is something like a really pretty lid topper. On my face, it's just very glittery. And it maybe if I use my finger also, the pink would come through. I don't know. It's kind of just like a face glitter topper. I don't know if I'm into that. So I'm going to try from my Morphe brush, the Glow Impact Powder. I really like the Glow Impact Powders. I had this formula before. It's like that gelée formula where there's no fallout. We're just going to put it... Ooh. This is 
stunning. This is really smooth on the skin, really blends in, really gives you a glow. Okay. I like this way more than the Diamond Glow Powder. Very interesting. That's really pretty. So like definitely this cheek is like so much. This cheek looks super healthy, super pretty. I really like that. I'm gonna try just to even everything out. We're just gonna put some of this glitteriness on top. More so to even everything out, not necessarily because I like how it looks. So the thing with this palette is you can use it however you want, layer it however you want. I personally wish instead of the diamond powder, she would have put like an actual cream blush shade or something with a little bit more impact that's not as shiny or glittery. And I think I would love this even more, but I love in particular how this cheek looks. That's my demo. I'm just going to get into my final thoughts now. As you can see from the demo, there can be a bit of a learning curve with this palette, especially if you've never used anything like this. This. So I don't think it's a perfect palette, but I think it is really nice. Every product in here is really great quality. It's just not necessarily how I personally would have laid everything out. Though I do really like this diamond powder and I think it's a really fun formula. I just don't really like it in here. It's just too much as far as glitter and shine goes. I think having more of a flat cream blush would have really completed this palette. This is just too glittery for my personal preferences, but some of you might really like it. I wish at least it would be a bit more pigmented to show up on the face as well because I'm really only getting glitter from this and that I already know from the other diamond powders that I do have experience with that's just how the nature of this product goes but from swatching this did look more pigmented no but other than that I think these products are really great in formulation the glow cream base I think is such a healthy looking cream blush on more fair skin tones if you are more on in the medium to deep skin tone range this is just going to be a great base to have the powder stick to to really make everything more vibrant, whether that be as what you choose as a blush base or a highlight base, it still is really great. The Super Glow formula, I mean, it is a bit too shiny for me personally. It just, it's a lot of shine on the cheek. I do think it is really pretty though. It's not for everybody, but it is very pretty. The Glow Impact Powder, stunning highlight. I think it's going to flatter a lot of different skin tones as well. And the formulation is incredible. It's just that diamond powder that I'm not here for. But I think if you purchase this powder, it just to kind of get the most use out of it I would use this all over the lid because it is stunning nonetheless so you guys that is all I have for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful let me know your thoughts on these products did you pick them up I think this collection was going to make a really great Valentine's Day gift for somebody or for yourself came out with some good quality products so I'm very happy with them so thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you found it helpful if you are not yet subscribed to my channel make sure you take the time to do so and of course like this video and hit the bell so you can be notified of every video that I upload and yeah that's all I have thank you guys so much for watching I will see you guys in the next one bye guys have a good day